Okay, Andrew Cox, and it's matterandform.net, but that doesn't really say who you are or what the hell you're doing. I guess in a way it does. But you develop a $50 3D camera. Man, <laughs> that's the most important. And for an ad guy, man, you're getting an ad agency, you studied marketing and stuff like this. Man, I thought it was going to be something. You know, I talked to some geek with screamy hair or whatever, and things like that, <laughs> and thick glasses. But you're an ad guy, developed a little attachment for your camera that takes pictures in three days so I could take a picture of my puppet and send it all over, but you'd see the back of his head too. Wow, that's terrific. And for $50. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. <laughs> I mean, it, it just must be wonderful. And, and you were saying before we went on the air that actually you taught yourself coding. I mean, you, you're not an engineering, you know, PhD from MIT or any of this kind of stuff. You just taught yourself all this stuff to do it. I mean, man, so do you feel like you wasted your money in college or what? <laughs> no, definitely not. I just got a lot out of it. But but yeah, I mean, I my passion is with coding for sure. I mean, coding is uh, and, and the Internet has every resource you could possibly imagine there. So you can learn how to make puppets if you want and just go on the internet. <laughs> I want to, I want to, I want to. <laughs> oh, it's just, I mean, that's what's amazing about our society nowadays. You, you just have to have a passion for something and you could find, figure out how to do it on the internet, can't you? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. And now also get money. I mean, yeah, you're up to 200,000 bucks or more to, to get your stuff in production. <laughs> yeah, we just got funded yesterday. It's, it's uh, yeah, finally. I mean, so stressful wondering if we're going to make it. And then we we finally reached our goal yesterday. It's, and, uh, wow. And you still have, yeah, almost two, two three weeks yet uh, to go as we're talking. Uh, and, and the device will be out for Christmas, so it's a great Christmas present. Man, could you imagine the whole family, you know, open up their presents, and they get this little, and it's only 50 bucks. They think you spent a million on the thing, right? <laughs> and they slap it on their iPhone or whatever it is, or their Android, and they start taking 3D pictures of everybody at Christmas and sending it to the world, and it's your toy, <laughs> and it's not a toy. This is real stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, I... I, I... I, if people want to play with it and use it like a toy, I'm I'm happy because I mean that's what the whole point of it is to to get people involved with 3D 3D. I mean, why are we using 3D? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Everyone's still stuck using 2D with. I mean, right now we're talking over right. 2D <laughs> <Flat>. or 5. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So so do you see it soon? I mean, we'll be able to do it on online like this in 3D also. Oh, for sure. I mean, we're already seeing uh, 3D video um, with. Things like the HoloLens from Microsoft, and um, you know, even the Kinect can, you know, and, and basic like basic 3D uh, sensors right now can can take uh, 3D. Video. So, yeah, absolutely. It it just happens to be they're a little rough around the right edges at the moment. Wow, that's amazing. I mean, uh, I mean, I would think I'm sitting there when I was reading about you and everything. I was thinking, wow, here's a guy, you know, just a startup business in Toronto or whatever, you know, figuring out how to how anybody could take 3D pictures. And in my generation, we'd have to wait for Kodak, you know, or some billion dollar company to get this to us. Now a guy, you know, just decides to get it to us, gets the money, figures out how to do it on the internet. <laughs> so who, who needs corporations anymore, right? Absolutely. I mean, you can do this yourself uh, if, you, if you really want to. You know, you can do any projects you, th you want. And, and, uh, and that's, that's the most amazing part, especially that Kickstarter, because then you get to see if other people are really interested yes. in you. Yeah. So now, I mean, what's, what's neat, before you go and manufacture thousands of these things, you know that people want it because you already got thousands of people who say, yes, when you hurry up, do this thing. <laughs> Here's money, fast, fast, fast. <laughs> because, you know, like in my generation, you had to get it, you had to, you know, like when I printed books, I had to, you know, publish 100,000 or print 100,000 books, put them in a bookstore, and then pray they would sell. <laughs> yeah, and that's a big risk for sure. Yeah. Right? We don't need to take those risks anymore. And, and that's all gone. It's all changed. And, and, and that's why I'm trying to educate more people to realize that there there's more way and I, I and I think we can 
grow as a society faster because we could get rid of failures faster. <laughs> oh, I mean, failures are super important to... Absolutely. <laughs> and, 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 and see, they don't cost anything this way. Otherwise, yeah. if you had a garage full of 5,000 of these things, man, that'd be a big ticket. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That would probably be the last project I'd ever do. Exactly. Then you'd be back at that ad agency with a miserable job. <laughs> oh, man. I don't want to go back there. <laughs> and now you say, well, yeah, okay, this is working. You go deliver pizzas, keep you know, your soul together, and think of another idea, right? <laughs> now, you guys also came out with a 3D scanner that you still make available, right? Yeah, that's right. We have a desktop 3D scanner, and about three years ago, we did uh, that was when I, we did our first crowdsourcing campaign. And, and it was very successful. I mean, and again, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars doing that. You must think that this is so easy, man. Why doesn't everybody? <laughs> yeah, no, I wish. It's not quite like that, but yeah. No, I mean, it's it's very calculated in terms of what we needed to do. The first time, we had no idea. This time, right. we know. And that's and, and one of the reasons we know how... We'll, we'll, one of the reasons we can make it so affordable is that we knew exactly what it was going to cost. Before, we didn't know that. We, we didn't know what our original desktop scanner was going to cost, so it was very unnerving. But this time we know exactly how much it's going to cost. Ah. So was this, you were able to do the engineering part better in the beginning than last time, or you just said, hey, let's see if this sucker sells, and <laughs> oh my god, I got all this money, now we got to figure out how to do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we thought we were going to make them by hand the first time. Uh, oh, you wow. Know, we thought we were going to mold and cast them. We only thought we were going to do about 100 units. Um, no then we did 11 units. So... We had to, at that point, we were like, uh oh, we have to do this in mass manufacturing. And actually, oh. this has to be a company now. <laughs> oh, God, I got to hire people. Yeah, I thought when I created my first company, I was worried about I'm creating a place that I ran away from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, I like working here. I think the people here like working here more than they like those. <laughs> but that's, I mean, if you're the boss and you know you don't want to do that, then you can create nice places for other people. That's what's neat about it. Yeah. It's make a place that's different, you know? Yeah. Well, Andrew, this is a wonderful idea. Everybody's got to have one. And, and it's an ideal Christmas gift because it's going to be coming for Christmas. So you want to get on your uh, Kickstarter campaign while it's still out. And the way to get there is go matter and form. M-A-T-T-E-R-A-N-D-F-O-R-M dot net. And you get there, find out about the 3D camera. Also, look at his 3D you know, scanners and all the other stuff. And then you have a, a, a platform that really helps people exchange ideas on 3D pictures, don't you? Yeah, I mean, what's the point of making 3D content if you can't do anything with them, right? right. I mean, <laughs> it's one thing to make a photo, but then if you can't post yeah. it or share it, then, then what's the point? So yeah, our platform's called Cashew, and it's cashew3d.net. Or so dot com. I'm sorry. Um, and uh, you can go there. Actually, you can sign up to be uh, on the waiting list, and we'll get you an invite within a couple of weeks if you're interested. You can see some examples there as well. But it lets you view everything in 3D right on your browser. Ah, wonderful. So you can see, and I guess it's a great place to exchange ideas. You know, how to use your 3D camera better and make all kind of fun stuff. Because we're all limited by our own imagination. So it's nice to have somebody give it a little kickstart. <laughs> and that's what you do. So that's cashew3d.net. Is that it? Cashew3d.com. .com, okay. And the main uh, one is mannerandform.net. Well, Andrew right. Cox, I'm glad you're not with the advertising industry anymore and you're out there making stuff like this for us. Take care. Thanks, Matthew. Bye.